Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you a couple of tips and ideas on how to transform your walk-in closet into a whimsical office that can also be used as a game room. I'm also happy to announce that my house is finally completed, so expect a house tour coming your way very soon. Well, now that that has been said, let's get started. The first project that we will focus on this video is this corridor that connects the walk-in closet to my bedroom. Now I have an announcement to all my subscribers and it's that this will be the last house that I am decorating with this whimsical style. I have evolved to something else and hopefully you will give me the opportunity to present it to you. I am very excited for these new steps. But I wanted to complete this house with the most whimsical room ever and that's why I decided to transform this space. This is an overview of the walk-in closet. It's fairly a good size for what it is, and that's why I decided to transform it. Since we're working more from home, I think that this is a great idea if you have the space. As I mentioned before, the first part that we will focus on is the corridor, and the first step that I did was to paint the walls. I will leave the paint information that I'm using on the screen and also on the description box below in case you're interested. I went with this violet gray and I also decided to paint the ceilings. When you're in a small space, if you paint the ceilings the same color as the walls, it draws your eyes up, which makes the space look taller. Once the walls were painted, I went ahead and I added these wall accents. These are used on the corners of the doors and it just makes them pop. I will leave anything that I can find similar to them on the description box below. And what they have is a double-sided tape so you can stick them to the corner of the door. And I absolutely love how gold looks with the colors that I selected for the wall, so I went ahead and I made all my accents have a gold tone. The next step was to change the previous light fixture. I went ahead and I installed this beautiful gold chandelier. Now, it didn't come with crystals, so I bought these Bobesh. I will leave them down below, and they allow you to add crystals to any chandelier. Once everything was in place, these are the results so far. Next, I decided to take this old window and the first thing that I did was to stain it with this wood stain that I've been using lately. I will also list it below. And once it was stained, I went ahead and I installed two of these hooks to the ceiling. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to add that window on the opening of the corridor. That way it would look like it has a more architectural division to both spaces and I absolutely loved how this idea turned out. To further emphasize this look, I wanted to install curtains behind the window and I made my own curtains. I selected this beautiful fabric. It's a burgundy color, but it has like a violet undertone. It just pops so well with the color of the wall. It's not usually something that I would gravitate towards, but I really loved how it looked. Now the next tip that I have is I didn't want to paint the full door because this is a rental space. So a great tip of disguising any door is to use a pressure rod and then add curtains to it. And this immediately disguises the door, all while staying in your color story. It doesn't want to come out. Um, it does have something on the back of it, so it is removable, but it's... I guess it's because it's been painting so much previously that it just doesn't want to come out, so... It would have looked so beautiful. Yeah, I'm not going through the hassle of doing this. I couldn't uninstall the previous handle, so I went ahead and accented one of the doors with this tassel, and once everything was in place, these are the results. this connecting corridor turned out. I feel very special when I'm walking towards it and it's also a very beautiful sight to look at. And when you're leaving from it to the bedroom it feels special because you're walking to a lighter space but when you're walking from the bedroom to it it also feels magical because the walls feel like they're hugging you.
For our next step, we can finally focus on the walk-in closet and the first thing that I did was to take everything from inside of it. Next, I focused on the racks and I uninstalled them. Now, because this is a rental, I will eventually have to place them back in. So I decided to not uninstall all the little hardware that allowed them to be in place. I just decided to paint over them and ignore them. And sincerely, they don't bother me. Just like the corridor, I decided to paint the walls and the ceiling with the same beautiful color. Once that was done, this is the result. Definitely changed completely. A darker space feels so much more romantic and whimsical. The next step was to change the previous light fixture and I also installed a smaller but just as charming chandelier. And to emphasize that chandelier, I installed this mirror behind it so it would reflect the light beautifully. Besides the mirror, I went ahead and I installed these two mirrored sconces that I transformed on a previous video and I like them because they have a similar shape to the mirror so they look seamlessly together. So this is a little bit of a jump in the video. Let's say that I made a little bit of a miscalculation on the entry door where the camera's at and this desk was a pain to install in here. A couple of mirrors were sacrificed in the making of this video. I will replace them eventually, but this was not easy and I don't want to share my struggles. So let's use the magic of the internet and let's pretend that this was all seamless and let's move on. As you can see, a modern computer looks incredibly out of place in this room since I'm going for an old world vibe. And this is one of the greatest struggles that I had. So I had this very funny idea of creating like a wood frame for the computer. And I can't believe how it turned out. Essentially what I did, I collected a couple of these wood cubes and I stained them with my favorite wood stain. And once that was done, I just glued them in place to create the frame. I will have a video explaining in detail how I did this next week, along with other two DIYs, so if you're interested on in creating something similar, stay tuned for that. But I just want to give you an overview of what I did. I just glued them in place, and the first thing that I did was to create two towers. I placed these two towers besides the computer before installing the top piece because you really want to get these measurements right. Once that was done, I used Gorilla wood glue and I went ahead and I glued the top piece. Now my recommendation is for you to glue the arch together, that's perfectly fine. But for the third and bottom piece, I do not suggest you gluing it. I simply just add it to the center and this will allow you to have more accessibility to the wires on the back if you ever need to. So that's what I decided to do. Okay, I couldn't be happier on how this DIY turned out. Even I was suspectful of how it was going to turn out because I've never seen anything like it before for a computer. Now, the funnest part of this entire project is to actually decorate each individual cube I decided to display a couple of rock specimens and minerals that I collect because I make jewelry with them. Next week video, I'm going to explain to you step by step on how I created this along with two other DIYs. I'm looking forward to that video, so I hope you stick around for it, but I am sincerely happy. Once that was done, I accented the cubes with a couple of my favorite crystals and beside it, I displayed this stance that I created on a previous video of mine and I accented it with crystals as well. Now for my mouse pad and my keyboard, I went ahead and I selected this one that lights up because I will also be using this office as a gaming room. To the other side of the desk, I displayed a couple of dry flowers along with this beautiful table lamp that makes anything look extra whimsical. To the other side of the wall, I added these shelves to stay organized and I also took advantage of the hooks from the wall and I hung a cardigan. I purposely selected a mustard color because I'm really enjoying the contrast of these two colors. To the other side, I installed this mirror and I also displayed a couple of these paper lanterns that have a peachy undertone to them, which brings everything together. Finally, I just accented this little table with a couple of decor pieces, and once everything was in place, these are the final results.
In honor of this being one of the last spaces that I am creating with this whimsical style, I decided to go all in and I'm so happy that I chose to do so because, sincerely, I couldn't be happier with the results. I'm currently inside this room editing this video and I have to tell you this is one of the most comfortable and serene spaces I have ever been in. And the idea that I can share this tutorial and you can take some inspirations to recreate something similar in your space really makes me happy because it's the only way of transcending my sentiments towards you all the way where you're at. And to me this is just full circle and I'm very very grateful to have this space and I'm happy that I can share it as well. And with that being said, I actually have a request. I'm trying to select a desktop picture for my computer. I have a couple of options. I have this one. This one is from the movie Halls Moving Castle. And I also have this one which looks better on real life. It has a purple undertone. I don't think the camera picks it up, but I really like how it looks in real life. And the third option is another angle from the Halls Moving Castle. And the fourth one is the one that I'm using right now, just because the colors looks so beautiful in real life, especially with a keyboard. I actually have the keyboard and the mouse pad linked down below in case you're interested. And for this lamp, I will have a tutorial in the future so you can recreate it as well. Now, this room has actually two stages. There is the stage in which I'm working in and all the lights are turned on, including the mouse pad and the keyboard, and it feels very nice. Now, there's a second stage to the room, which is the gaming mode. I went a step ahead and I bought a fog machine on Amazon. I will link it below. And whenever I'm watching something or playing a game, I just turn it on for a little while, and it creates the most magical atmosphere you can possibly be in. And this past year, I've been reconnecting with my siblings by playing an old game that we used to play so it has been the highlight of this year for me and that's why i decided to do this and with this we conclude this video really quick don't forget to subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel i will leave these links down below also visit my online boutique and don't forget to follow me on instagram to stay in touch well now that that has been said thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video i wish you a very blessed day may god bless you and <laughs>